Right, we're going to do energy push-ups and we're going to do energy jumping jacks. So to make sure there's a difference, we're going to do a couple of strength tests on the guys. We're then going to do the energy stuff and then we're going to test them again. So if you could do that for me, Paul. All we're going to do is try and pull his hands apart. Okay, so here and there. Right? Okay, so make sure you get your mechanics right. Because if it's too close and it's a power zone or it's too far away, you might not notice a difference. So you want to in the middle. This is Neil, and I don't have come down. This is a centre lock. It's done user friendly. It's not done as a martial arts technique. It's done as a strength test, so we can see there's a bit of pain involved. Let's do the push-ups. Okay. When you do the push-ups, your hands need to be in a 45, like you're driving a car, like it's recommended for punching, not a full twist, so the bones are in line. So we do this. If you're doing knuckle push-ups, which I recommend if you're doing any kind of breaking techniques, to strengthen the bones of your hands, this is the position you want. If you're not, that's the position you want. Okay? Legs. We're going to cross the legs. So let me show you the position we're going to do. 45, 45. Right leg goes over the left leg. And you start down. You wait a few seconds. And then you do the push-ups. As normal. And you, know, you don't need to do a lock. Oh, sorry. And then we finish. Hopefully we've gained some energy. And these tests should prove it. Let's do the push-ups. Okay, for juniors and ladies. Hands. Press the legs, but go from the knees. Initially you might just need to do this, but then you might be able to use a straight back until you progress into a full push-up. Okay? Thank you very much. And down. Wait. And you're on count. Go. Joke that is a real joke that is, that's fantastic. Thank you.